Hi, welcome back. Welcome to Building Your Path to Success. On this channel, I focus on sharing a lot of information in short periods of time for high school and or college students so that they can build a meaningful resume. I share information on internships, REUs, conferences, scholarships, and other opportunities. The goal is for students to become more competitive as they work towards their individual career goals. If you like this kind of information, please remember to give me a thumbs up, share, sub subscribe, so that you can be notified as soon as another video is released. Today, I'm going to focus on my high school students. Um, it is always an honor to share information for high school students because a lot of times, they have lots of questions and say, what can I do next? Today, I'm going to share information on the Step Up to College book that goes out to all students. I'm not sure if the books that hit have hit all the schools yet, but there's also a digital copy of the book, and it's put out by Philadelphia Futures. It, this is the 32nd edition of this book. A lot of times we hand these books out in the high schools and they end up on the floor and the ground. Um, so over the years, they send fewer and fewer out. But you can still access this information. It's for all students, not just um, seniors. And it has information in it. And I don't want to go through all of the information, but they do have activities that you can do that's interactive so that you can find out which careers may be good for you. They help you create an action plan. Not only help you find a college, what, what college would be a good fit for you based on um, what you're looking for. They give you sample questions to ask on your college visits. All this is in one book. The book is really not that um, thick. It's really a good book. They talk about how to track your college applications, brainstorming and writing your essay. Those are more for, like I said, they may be more towards the seniors. However, they have um, other things in there for grades nine through 11. And they also have videos. So for some people, they may need to actually vi um, have a visual and have someone speaking to them. The other thing is that they have a mobile app. So this way, if you are a parent or if you work with uh, students, you can um, have something you know, to go on. They also have uh, programs where students can apply and they work with you um, directly. So they have Sponsor a Scholar, which is the SAS program. And for this one, you have to be in the Philadelphia Public uh, School and um, you have to be in ninth grade. So they each have a different criteria, but they have uh, different um, programs that students can actually apply for. And they talk about the application process and the benefits of each of their programs. They have um, the College Connection Program. They have, and they actually help students when they're applying to colleges. But again, you have to apply. But you have to be in the 10th grade when you apply for this program. Um, sometimes students don't want to follow through the whole application because it is uh, one part of the application. And once they get through that, it's another part of the application. But the purpose of me telling you about this is because they have lots of programs and they have, um, they also the ones who manage the Ellis Trust. And I've talked about the Ellis Trust. It's for girls only. They can get up to $5,000 a year. There's one application if you're in Catholic school, a different application if you're in public school. And um, they can help pay for anything from glasses to um, college applications, some colleges do not take fee waivers. And so you may want to apply. So they may, they may pay for that. They may pay for, if you go to dance school, piano lessons, if it's a summer program that you want to attend and it may be $3,000. So there's so many things that Ellis Trust can pay for. All of this comes out of Philadelphia Futures. 
and they put this book together. All the information I'm talking about will be in this book. So um, what I wanna just say is I am going to put the link to this book um, in the description below in case your student you're working with did not get a book, in case they got the book and they lost it, there's a lot of valuable information, even financial aid information. That changes a little bit all the time. And if you haven't done financial aid in 10, 15, 20, 30 years, you may need a little brush up. They will have the new financial aid information in there for you. As we move on, I will be talking about financial aid for our seniors, um, which you know opens October 1st. And uh, so I will be spending time on that as we get closer to that. I don't wanna um, talk about too many things today, but I do wanna make sure that I spoke um, on the step up to college because there is a lot of information in there and I don't want students to um, miss it. So I will put that in there. If you live in the Philadelphia area, even if you're not in the Philadelphia area, you may not be able to use all the information, but there's a lot of information in there that will apply to you if you are in grades nine through 12. So again, I thank you for uh, being a part of the village and sharing this information. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and I look forward to bringing more information to you in the near future. Thank you.